To be convicted of a crime, the defendant must act with the required mens rea, also called criminal intent. For example, a larceny defendant must act with the specific intent to steal somebody else's property. In State v. Varsegi, the Connecticut Appellate Court considered whether an allegedly larcenous landlord's belief that he was entitled to his tenant's computers negated the specific intent to steal them. Paul Varsegi leased commercial office space to a computer software company helmed by Catherine Topp, who personally signed the lease in her capacity as company president. One provision in the lease, referred to as the default clause, authorized Varsegi to enter the leased office space, confiscate personal property, and sell it to recover unpaid rent. At some point during the lease, Top fell three months behind on rent. Varsegi waited for the weekend before picking the lock on Top's office door and confiscating two computers. On Monday, Top discovered the missing computers and immediately called the police. Then she called Varsegi, who freely admitted to taking the computers, confident that the lease's default clause authorized his actions. On multiple occasions, police officers expressed reservations to Varsegi about whether his actions were lawful and advised him to give the computers back. Instead of doing that, Varsegi doubled down on his belief that he was entitled to the computers under the lease. After eventually selling the computers, Varsegi was arrested and charged with first-degree larceny and criminal coercion. He stood trial in a Connecticut state trial court, where he was convicted of the lesser-included offense of third-degree larceny and acquitted on the coercion charge. Varsegi appealed to the Connecticut Appellate Court, arguing that there was insufficient evidence of specific intent to support his larceny conviction, 